In the previous video, we learned about the events module, which returns the event emitter class. Using an instance of event emitter, we were able to emit events and respond to the emitted events. In this video, I want to show you how we can create our own module that builds on top of the event emitter class. Let's begin. I'm going to create a new file called pizzashop.js. Within the file, I'm going to define a pizza shop class. Class pizza shop has a constructor where we initialize order number to zero and we're going to add two methods. One to place an order where we increment order number and another called display order number to view the current order number. Let's export the class for use in other modules. In index.js, let's comment out the existing code and import the class. const pizza shop is equal to require from dot slash pizza shop. In the next line, let's create an instance. Pizza shop is equal to new pizza shop. We can then invoke pizza shop dot order followed by pizza shop dot display order number. If we run node index in the terminal, we should see the message current order number one. So we have a pizza shop that has its own properties and methods. However, we would like this shop to be able to handle orders using the event-driven architecture. That is using the events module. Now the solution for that is inheritance. In JavaScript, we can extend one class to inherit the functionality of another class. In our case, pizza shop class is going to inherit from the event emitter class. And here's how we do that. Begin by importing the event emitter class. Const event emitter is equal to require node colon events. Next, use the extends keyword with the pizza shop class. Class pizza shop extends event emitter. Finally, within the constructor, invoke super. This class-based inheritance is a feature introduced in ES 2015. Please do watch my advanced JavaScript crash course if you would like to learn more about what the extends and super keywords do under the hood. But what this inheritance allows us to do is use the pizza shop class as if it is an event emitter class. So in the order method, we can now emit an event, but this time we don't have a separate emitter object. Instead, this keyword refers to the emitted object. So this dot emit, the event name is order, and let's add size and topping as parameters. With an event now being emitted, we can go back to index.js and attach listeners. Pizza shop dot on, the event name is order. The listener receives size and topping. which we're going to log to the console. While placing the order, let's specify the size and the toppings. If we now rerun node index, we see the expected log statement. 
order received baking a large pizza with mushrooms. We also see the current order number is 1. Let's now register the other event listener, which has to do with serving a drink. Now what I will do is extract out the drink logic into a separate module. So new file called drinkmachine.js and within the file, let's create a new class. Drink machine. One method called serve drink which accepts size. If the order size is large, we log to the console serving complimentary drink. Let's export it for use in index.js. Back in index, const drink machine is equal to require dot slash drink machine and create a new instance. Next, within the same order event listener, call drink machine dot serve drink. Pass in size. We run node index and we see the expected log statements. Order received, baking a large pizza with mushrooms, serving complimentary drink, current order number one. As you can see, using events, we are able to tie together different modules without having to tightly couple them. But what I want you to take away from this video is the fact that modules such as pizza shop can extend from event emitter, allowing them to emit and react to their own custom events. And the reason I want you to remember this is because most of the built-in modules, especially FS, streams and HTTP, which we are about to learn in the upcoming videos, also extend from the event emitter class. All right, with this in mind, let's proceed to the remaining built-in modules in Node.js. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.